All right, in front of me here, I have two Mitchell and Ness authentic jerseys. Michael Jordan, 45, 94, 95 season. The one on the left was purchased from Mitchell and Ness UK website. The one on the right was purchased from a seller on Grailed. The one on the left, which is the retail version, was sold out everywhere. So I was doing research and found a seller on Grailed selling it and saying it was authentic. I asked a lot of questions and he said there was a Mitchell and Ness store over in Hong Kong. He was able to source these jerseys, which made sense. I ended up buying three jerseys. I bought the one on the right. I bought a Vince Carter and I also bought a Swingman Jason Williams black Sacramento Kings jersey. Got the jerseys then after a couple weeks and immediately I just knew something was off. It was a Swingman jersey that was the biggest red flag. The Swingman jersey I just knew was off because the twill was just, it wasn't right. But then when I look at the red 45 Jordan, the cut wasn't right. Immediately I knew that something was off with the cut. I knew something was off with the jock tag as well. And it was also red dye all over the white parts and the trim. So I just knew something was wrong. The Vince Carter was the best one, but even then, the fit wasn't right. It fit a little bit slimmer than any other authentic jersey that I had purchased thus far. Anyway, long story short, I contacted the seller and I said, yo, these jerseys don't seem right. I'm unhappy, I want a refund. He says, they're authentic. I don't know what you're talking about. They're real, I have proof. I say, okay, well, give me the proof. Well, I have the receipts, but since you're unhappy, it won't matter anyway. Just send the jerseys back and I'll refund you. And I'm like, yo, I'm not about to pay money to send these jerseys back to Hong Kong and you sent me fake stuff. In the meantime, I wanted to have some mental clarity for myself and I found this jersey on the left on Mitchell and Ness's UK website. So I ordered it and then the Mitchell and Ness US website ended up restocking the Bench Carter. So I got one of those as well. Real, fake. So we're gonna get into these and starting with the red 45 jersey, you can see that there is a visual difference. Now, I have tons of sneakers. As you guys, if you've been watching me, you know me, you know my channel, you know I love sneakers, I love fashion. And with sneakers, I know that there is a such thing called unauthorized authentic sneakers, but there's also replicas in pretty much everything. Luxury handbags get remade. There's, there's replicas with, with a lot of stuff. Luxury goods have re replica items. But I didn't know that I knew there were fake jerseys out there and in most fake jerseys, like you can see it and know when it's fake. These, they're pretty much a UA Mitchell Ness jersey. Now you can see that there's a color difference. I wasn't able to see that until I got this one in and then I'll put them side by side and I say, yep, it's definitely fake. I wasn't sure. I knew it was, you can see that cut is like, it's too, it's too straight. It's supposed to have, be curved like that. We're gonna look at a couple things. The cut, you can already see that, you know, there's this big difference. The numbers, the materials are pretty, pretty similar for pretty much everything. The materials are very similar. They're just not accurate. So this is the retail versions. As you can see, those numbers are very smooth, really nice. There's, there's no imperfections really in it at all. Then over here, we look at it. You can kind of see there's those bubbles in the numbers. They're not smooth at all. There's a lot of bubbling happening uh, really in pretty much both numbers there, the four and the five. Then we have the jock tag. So this is the retail jock tag. You can see the lettering, which is nice and thick. And then the one over here, the lettering is not as thick. So there's a side by side of what they both look like. If you don't have the real one in hand, you really won't know. You can also see there's a slight difference in color in the hardware classics tag as well. This one is brighter with a reddish tint to it and this one is a bit darker. There's another look at that. Now, both jerseys are pretty much stitched the same. They're both double stitched. In most cases, when you get a fake jersey, it's not stitched well. And that's usually the determining factor of whether the jersey is real or not. With this one, if you're going off of stitching alone, then you're probably gonna think it's real. Now we have the back of the jerseys. Again, as you can see, color difference, the cut, Everything else looks pretty decent as far as the name and the number. But just like on the front, this is the real. And that is the fake. That should not look like that. And I knew when I got it, I said, this is not right. And this is not right. Those numbers are not smooth. I don't know where the seller got them from. I'm sure there's some warehouse manufacturing these without the 
consent of Mitchell and S. So all of these products go through a quality control check. This one has to go through quality control. If this is manufactured and produced by Mitchell and S, it's gonna go through a quality control. Mitchell and S never would have passed this for quality control. They would have never passed this for quality control. It's not supposed to be that straight. This color is not probably wouldn't have passed quality control. I think they're just taking some materials, trying to match the materials as well as they can and making these jerseys. That stitching is done just like authentic jersey. It's done just like this one. So if you don't have it side by side, chances are you really won't know unless you look for certain things like the cut of the jersey. All right, so this is how the jerseys look inside out. Again, the one on the left is retail, the one on the right is the replica. Can we call this a UA, an unauthorized authentic? I'm not entirely sure. I, I don't know how this works. I didn't know they actually made these jerseys this good in a fake. And let me know if you guys think it's not fake. To me, I think it is because it looks nothing like this one, which was purchased from Mitchell and S. Anyway, this is what the inside of the real one looks like. And this is what the inside of the other one looks like. I don't even know what to call it, but I will say I do have jerseys from Mitchell and S that look like this, where you can see the double stitch opposed to this. You can see the difference there. And really the, the main difference is like, this just still has the, um, the backing in it. It wasn't fully ripped off. And then that one is fully cleaned. I do have jerseys from retail Mitchell and S that look just like that. So that's not that good of a call out. As I mentioned, the stitching is done extremely well. So that's not enough to tell you anything. NBA logo on the real one looks like that. On the other one looks like that. The main thing I wanted to look at was the tag. So this is the care tag that it comes with. And then usually you have that sticker there. That is a QC sticker, which is the quality control, which means that this item went through a quality control department with Mitchell and Ness and they passed it. So here we have a side by side of the care tags. They look very, very similar. The only real call out is the amount of space that's here opposed to over here. I don't know if they stitched it in there properly. I don't have any jerseys that have this much space above the tag. Everything else pretty much looks the same aside from the font on this one being much different. Like I said, this one has that QC sticker. This one does not. There's no quality control done on this item. And lastly, we have the tags. Both of these NBA store tags are pretty much the same. This one has this one has more of a, a gloss to it. And this one appears to be a little more of, a, of a, a matte finish. The font on the real one is much smaller than the font on the replica one. Now with this, these tags, you can see there is a difference in color. This one, which was the replica one, doesn't have any kind of barcode on it. This barcode looks a little bit different than the one you get in the US, but again, this one came from Mitchell and S's UK website. The item number is accurate. On the flip side, you can see that there is a slight difference in color as well. The Hong Kong jersey also comes with this tag on it. I don't know, I've never really seen that before. All three of the jerseys I've got from him came with this tag and um, some kind of barcode on the back. All right, so here we have the Vince Carter 9899 Raptors jersey. And as you can see, side by side, they look very, very similar. But again, I knew something was off, mainly due to the way that it fit. As you can see, the one on the right does have that curvature that we were looking at before with the Jordan jersey. The body of it was a bit shorter than it was supposed to. And if you look a little bit closely here, you can see that it's even cut, even at the bottom. It doesn't go straight across, it kind of goes up. It's not supposed to be like that. So I bought it the same time I bought the Jordan jersey. And luckily, Mitchell and Ness restocked this jersey because it was sold out and I was able to grab it. And by having it side by side, it confirmed it again for me that this jersey, to me, is not real. You should be able to see it in camera, but there is a color difference. The body of the jersey is not the same exact color. The silver stripes or lightning, whatever you want to call it, it's also different in color. So there's a side by side of the jock tags. You really can't tell much of a difference. This one is stitched much better than that other Jordan. This is the this is the fake one. Usually with fakes, you have stitching, connecting letters, and the jock tags. See that? Versus that. It's done so well that you would never really know. To me, they're not real. Some of you may watch, some of you watching this may say like those, those are, those are good. And 
that that's okay if you feel that way to me i know after buying so many jerseys i know what it's supposed to look like you know what it's supposed to fit like on my body and these this just didn't do that be careful when you're out there buying these jerseys if you're you know interested in buying them if you're buying a jersey and you know it's fake and you want to buy it anyway that's perfectly fine i'm not going to knock anyone for buying something when they want to buy it is what you want to spend your money on it's out there for you to do it then no you didn't do it if i'm buying these and i'm told they're authentic and i get them and they don't they're not, they don't match they don't meet that criteria of, of authenticity then I have a problem with that. I was even leaning towards keeping this one because I thought it could have been legit until I got this. And I was like, nope, this, it's not right. The color's off, the fit's off. It's just not right. Before I flip it inside out, one thing I noticed really just now was that the outline on this replica one, the black outline you can see there, it's a little bit thicker than the retail. This is the stitching on the retail versus the stitching on this one. So you can see a difference there in the color of the thread. This is a retail and we have that QC sticker there as you can see and of course this one there's no QC sticker on there at all and just like that Jordan there's more space up here now this one does have a little bit of space as well but not as much as not as much as the other one all right so that was my breakdown of the real versus the fake and you know I'm calling them fake um, I guess you can call them unauthorized authentics again I've never seen any fakes look like those so let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section do you think those are legit i personally don't um i think they're the best fakes i've ever seen you know there are different qualities of fakes i've never seen as far as jerseys i'm kind of new to this whole jersey buying thing especially when it comes to mitchell and s i've never seen any jerseys look the way those do as far as quality and not be authentic retail authentic but again that's my opinion let me know down below what you guys think my advice stay away from any seller who is stationed in hong kong selling mitchell less jerseys claiming that they are 100 authentic don't buy and if you're going to shop on grilled this is a seller i'm going to put his information right here on the screen do not buy from this seller because he was even rude when i said I, these aren't authentic a very rude seller they are very manipulative do not shop with them his name, his selling name is, I think is like Basement Warehouse. There are even reviews from people who bought jerseys who said the jersey is perfect. Not everyone's gonna know what to look for. You can buy this jersey, get it in, and think it is 100% legit because you won't know any better because the stitching, everything is done well, except for the details that I pointed out to you. But anyway, that is my video. Again, let me know what you guys think down below, and I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace.